All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what their room looks like. I apologize for the lighting. Their room gets the morning sun, but I'm gonna start trying to take some stuff off the walls now. So when I do find time to paint, I don't have to waste time doing that. This is my plan. Right now their room is just kind of a mishmash. I have these bunk beds. I'm gonna take this off. This wall I painted and did like Disney princesses. I'm gonna completely paint over all of that and just make this really neutral with nothing on the walls except a color. So whenever they outgrow it, I don't have to redo the room again. So these bunk beds are going to stay because they have to share a room, but they're gonna be moved over here. All that is coming off the wall. This kitchen is going to be moved onto the bunk bed wall. This is moving and this I think will stay in the same spot. I'm going to put this mirror over here because next to the beds. So the beds will probably come out to about the same place as the kitchen. All the bookshelves are going to be moved somewhere else. I'm going to do a nightstand right here with the mirror above it. I don't know if I'm going to take this down yet. I might leave this, but just go through it. Bring the mermaid picture because it is going to be beachy slash mermaid things. Losing all the princesses. Uh, I'm definitely keeping this little area, but I might get a seashell pillow instead of the flower pillow. Keeping the rug because it's so pretty and cute. <laughs> and... Uh, Switching out these curtains with some teal ones because I'm painting the room pink So I'm gonna switch these curtains out and put teal ones instead And yeah, it'll just be a long process, but there's a bunch of pictures on the walls We're having a garage sale So I thought this was the perfect time because if there's anything I want to sell I can sell it in the garage sale I don't think there's too much I'm selling a lot of these things I'm keeping um, but it's a good time to go through it. This lamp will move on the other side and I'd like to turn their light back on. I just couldn't because it's connected to the switch. So I had unscrewed it and um, just never screwed it back in. So I think I might get a different, like a pendant light or something to put there and then move that lamp to their nightstand. So this is what it looks like from this angle. This is their closet. And then over here where the beds are, that will be gone. Their little kitchen will be over here. But I do have to find somewhere to put the bookshelves. So I'm going to see how long the nightstand is and maybe do the bookshelves like a single file line. I don't know. I'm still trying to work all that out. But that's the tentative plan. I definitely want the bunk beds over here. So it's not just this thing when you walk into the room. I don't really care for that. So I'm going to start taking everything down, taking stuff. We don't have a ton of Thanksgiving books. So I'll relocate those for now. And then hopefully one day this week I'll find time to paint and at least get that out of the way because everything else I'm going to try to do this on a super tight budget and not spend anything. And while we do this I'm going to start a bin of garage sale stuff so that Lucy can go through and find things to put in a garage sale. <laughs> so we'll do as much as we can before bedtime and then the rest we might have to finish up another time. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of so I did some stuff last night really fast and I had my phone all set up and I didn't hit record so I apologize for that. Um, this is what the room looks like today. I've gotten almost everything off the wall. I have a bunch of holes that need to be filled in. I still need to take this off the wall but it's just two screws. I need to take the shelf down. I just didn't last night because I keep their baby monitor on it and I wanted to have that set up. I am going to touch up all the places with white paint and then I'm gonna paint from the middle of the wall up to the ceiling in a blue color. So um, I'm gonna take the curtains down and all this stuff just has to come away from the wall so that I can paint. We're gonna do board and batten probably on this wall and the wall over here where the bed currently is. And then their TV is gonna go up here and their kitchen over here, that'll stay and 
I think that's pretty much it. So I'm sad to paint over this wall. I thought my clouds turned out really well. I hand painted those and I thought they turned out so cool, but it just really doesn't fit with what we've got going on now. So we're gonna take it down. I am gonna leave the hammock, but I'm gonna take this down and switch it to the other side of the room for Lucy's bed and put the little twinkle lights and stuff cause she loves that. Um, I have two screws to take down over here. That's where the mirror was hanging. Yeah, the beds are gonna have to move, but I'll do that later when I'm ready to paint that wall. And I'll probably have to push all this other stuff against the wall over there. So, lots to do. I gotta buy my touch-up paint, which I was gonna have to buy some anyways because I've got other areas in the house that need touching up. So I'm just gonna make it easy for myself and cost-effective and buy one big gallon of touch-up paint and then just touch up as needed. And uh, I already have the paint to do from the middle of the wall up to the ceiling. So I don't have to buy that unless I might need a little bit more. We'll see what I am left with. I'll show you the color. It's the same color that's on my ice cream trailer on the inside. So I'll show you what that color is. And I'll try to film as much as possible while we get some more done today. Now that everything is off the wall, I'm going to go around and mark where I want the color to start. I saw a picture on Pinterest where she started it a little above the middle of the room and I really like how that turned out. So I'm sort of going for that look while keeping in mind how tall my board and batten is going to need to be. Since I was going to be rearranging the room anyways, and like I said, we're having a garage sale, this was the perfect time to go through all of the girls' toy bins and declutter. They had a lot of like little McDonald's toys and just things that I know weren't getting played with. I still had some baby toys in here, and I have a friend who's having a little girl soon, so I set a bunch of those things aside for her, and it just felt really good to kind of lighten everything up before we move the room around.
after decluttering, it was time to go around and sand and spackle all of the holes in the wall. There were quite a few because I had moved some things around previously, so there were a lot of holes that I had to take care of. I wanted to make sure that I mopped and vacuumed too and just kind of gave the room a good tidy because I don't usually get to the corners since there's so many things in the way. So this was also nice to just get everything nice and clean. Now that the holes were all patched and dried, I could go around with my pink color. Like I said, I just got the same color that our walls already are and went and touched up everything so that really helped because I didn't have to paint the entire wall. I just had to go over places where I had covered up the holes. So that made this makeover a lot easier and also a lot cheaper. After the white, it was time to go on and put up the teal. Again, this was just leftover paint that I had from painting my ice cream trailer. I was super thankful for my daughter Hannah's help she offered and I definitely was happy to take her up on that. So she got a good majority of the painting done and then when she had to leave, I came in and finished it off. We took a break from painting and my husband helped me to move the bunk beds. This was by far the most challenging part of the makeover. They are very heavy and I did not want to take them apart or anything, so we had to move the rug out of the way and then move the beds over to the other side of the room. Ultimately this is my favorite thing that I did when I changed the room around because I love having the beds straight ahead and not immediately to the left when you walk in the room. This area definitely needed to be mopped and vacuumed because the beds have been sitting here for a while. So I wanted to get in and make sure I got all of the dust, all of the spilled food and whatever else was going on in here uh, before we moved on to doing the board and batten wall, which my husband was so kind to help me with. what seems like forever Try to hold it together But I'm losing my grip I need someone who can make me feel better? Wrap me up in a sweater, treat my pain with the kiss. Then suddenly you are here inside my head everywhere. Where did you come from? I'm wondering. Baby, are you made up of I didn't get video of the entire process of doing the wall because my three-year-old was very clingy this day, so. I just kind of filmed a little bit of how it looks and then I'll show you the painting later. I added in this nightstand, it's actually just a little side table and I put it as a nightstand. I used it for my ice cream trailer and I really wanted to have it in their room so I could have this lamp hooked up. So I put that in there and I think it fits perfectly. And then I wanted to go in and put their toy hammock back up. It's so funny because even when I was a kid, I remember my friends having some version of these toy hammocks hanging in their room. They looked a little different. I like this one because it has kind of a boho feel and it reminds me of just a very laid back beachy feel. So that's why I wanted to keep it and it also serves a great purpose for organization. Now it was time to go and paint the board and batten wall. I didn't do 
a perfect job because I know it's going to get dings and it's going to be written on. It is the little kids room. So I just did the best that I could and I still think it turned out really, really cute. This is what it looks like with nothing on the wall. So I still have to hang Lucy's little um, tent thing over her bed. I swapped out the curtains. I still don't know if I'll keep the coral. I might just leave the one in the middle and take the coral down. They don't really need blackout curtains anymore since nobody's really napping, even though Eleanor's crashed on the couch right now. Um, this is how this all turned out. This is a different color. My dog spilled <laughs> my wall color and I had to use something I had left over from another thing, which was a brighter white. So I might just leave it and not really care. I'm gonna be putting bookshelves and there's gonna be stuff over here. So, I mean, it is a noticeable difference. This is our normal wall color and this is like a brighter white. Um, if it really bothers me, I don't think it'll be a huge deal to kind of fix it, but it really doesn't bother me and it kind of makes this accent wall stand out a little bit more. So that's what that looks like. Here's their hanging hammock with all of the little critters in it. Their TV is going to go right here. Um, I don't know if they'll actually watch it, <laughs> but we have a spare TV with nowhere to put it. So we thought we could put it in here since Lucy's getting older. This is how it looks with their kitchen and these shelves. Those are all gonna stay right there. These all have toys in them. So I really like how that turned out. I love having the bed over here. So when you walk in through the door, it's not like right here in your face. I put a little nightstand over there, which is really nice because this light is connected to the outlet that this lamp was plugged into on the opposite side of the room and you couldn't have a light on. Um, and I like having a table lamp on sometimes instead of the bright light. So that's how that turned out. I'm gonna go ahead and put back their little folding like purse hanger thing and yeah, start putting stuff on the wall. <laughs> I decided to make my own art. I found some pictures on Pinterest as inspiration and I have a Canva membership. So I went in and used Canva to make my own version of the pictures that I found. I'm not selling them or anything, so I don't feel bad for copying them, um, but it was really easy. I could have printed them directly off of Pinterest too, but I thought it was kind of fun to make them myself. Then I had to hang the girl shelf and their bulletin board back up. Everything on this shelf was stuff that I've already had, so again, I did not spend anything for this. I would like to buy some stuff in the future, but for now, just reusing what they already had worked perfectly, and I had more than enough to complete the room. Putting up the bookshelves was the last step for now until I get the rest of the things that I want to put in here, and we will call it a day with this makeover. All right, this is the finished product. Well, it's not completely finished. There's a few things I wanna do. I wanna like hang something here or maybe something here. I did get this mirror. They had a gold mirror on their door for the longest time and it fell and broke. <laughs> so I just got this white one to kind of blend in, but I love it because it really does make the room feel a little bit bigger. So that's there. This is their dirty clothes basket. Uh, I want to get on Etsy. They make stickers you can put on these panels to kind of fancy them up a little bit. So I do want to get those eventually, but they're kind of pricey. They're like $100, a lot of them. So that's down the road. This is the tent. I still need to put the twinkle lights, but this is how this turned out. Obviously, this is not Pinterest perfect. The girls have their toys and they play, and this was just as cleaned up as I could get it to film it before they came in and 
completely overhauled it to their liking again. Uh, this is the window, how it turned out with the curtains. I like it much better with just the gauzy teal curtains. I've had these for forever. Lucy had these in her nursery when she was born. So it's really nice to use them again. They were a present from my mother-in-law. These are the pictures that I printed out. That's how that turned out. I made all of these myself uh, using some pictures I found on Pinterest as a guide. So that's how that looks with the dollar store frames that I've had. This is a doll from the girls, uh, Mimi. So that's just sits there. She's so pretty and beautiful. Here's my Little Mermaid statue, which is just kind of holding these books in place. Here's the shelf and their little bulletin board with their name tags on it and some artwork that Lucy did at preschool. And then this is how this whole corner turned out. I really like it. It's got their little hammock up here, so that's awesome. I didn't get super close if you say anything about the wall, uh, just because it's popcorn ceiling and it's really hard not to get paint on the ceiling. So I'll have to go in and touch that up another time. I just wanted to kind of get this done because it took a while. This is their little kitchen area I cleaned it up really fast because they've already been playing today is Eleanor my three-year-old's birthday so she's turning three today so the girls have just been all over the house playing I put their cleaning stuff here tidied up their kitchen uh, this is how the little bookshelf turned out Thanksgiving is this coming Thursday so we do still have Thanksgiving themed books and then after Thursday we overhaul everything to Christmas so that's exciting uh, Eleanor got this little doll high chair for her birthday so that's that I swapped out the flower pillow with this mermaid long pillow which is really nice because they can either have it like a little chair and read or they can lay it out and lay on it like a big bed kind of thing <laughs> so that's what that looks like we do still have to hang the TV but I'm not really worried about that right now um but i'm really happy with how this all came out you can see the board and batten wall that turned out really nice and kind of gives this area a little extra oomph which is cool over here is their wall by the bed so this room is just really hard to do anything with because every wall has something uh this is the only wall that doesn't have anything but it is in uh, the door opens up onto it, so you can't put anything right there. So I've had this plaque. Um, it was given to me for Lucy when she was born, but I thought it was cute because it's a mermaid. Here's their little hat rack and purse rack that they play with all the time. I do want to eventually put a little plant right here. I found some on Amazon. I just didn't want to spend any money right now. This whole makeover cost zero dollars. The only thing I had to buy was the touch-up paint, and that was it, and I needed that in. Anyway, so I did this entire thing for no money. This was my little nightstand that I bought from my ice cream trailer. So I went ahead and repurposed it in here. It was off Facebook Marketplace. Um, and I can either move this back out and get a different one down the road or get a different one from my ice cream trailer. So that's how that looks. It's got their little Cuddle and Kind dolls that they play with all the time. This little puzzle my three-year-old was playing with. I got the baby monitor and their little owl uh, essential oil thing the lamp which is great and the lamp has extra outlets too which I love and then their little mouse that they were given when Lucy was small and then this mirror used to be mine and it's been in their room ever since so it's just such a pretty mirror I love how it looks and it kind of ties in that tropical theme so this is how it looks I do think I'll put something over here on the wall uh, Whenever I get a chance, I do still want to put a different pendant light. Right now, there's no cover on it. It's just hanging out. So I'll probably try to find something for there. And any updates I do, I will just do an updated video. I want to get them a new little comforter set. And yeah, just kind of work with this. But this is their bedroom. And I wanted to make sure that it fit their needs and how they played in it because that's what matters the most. So it is slightly mermaid and ocean themed, but not to where when they tire of it, it's gonna be a big pain to take everything back down again. <laughs> so that is it. I'll just do some little spans of the room so you can see it and all the details. And then I will catch you in the next one. <laughs>